from Overwatch. This is Red Rum Actual. On target in six mics. I know we're a close knit group, but we pale in comparison to how close these guys are. These guys are the most highly trained, you know, best in the world at what they do. For us to be able to come out here and, and be a part of it, you gain a new respect for you know, this level of competition. He's dead, he's dead! Everybody in front of you is a decorated combat veteran. They'll walk you through authentic spec op tactics as seen in Battlefield 3. Then we'll put those skills to the test. You guys listen to them, you pick up 1% of what they're giving you, you'll come home. Let's see what these guys got. All right, gentlemen, you got to move as an element. Everyone has to be aware of what everyone else is doing and their role within that movement. If everyone on the team isn't doing their job, the whole thing is going to collapse. I'm now an enemy shooting at you from the front. I'm gonna yell out, contact front, contact front. Sometimes I'll just engage. That's your signal to look what the fuck I'm doing and follow suit. Moving forward. First hand experience, it's a lot different than you know what you imagine. Contact front, contact front. Now you're out here and it's very surreal. You can only imagine what it's like, you know, when you're in the heat of the moment and, you know, it's live bullets. If we do experience contact on this op and we expect to, a lot of this is going to be audibles. You're going to have to follow what I do. You're going to have to follow what Brian does. You're going to have to follow what Ray does, all right? Upper torso is off the clavicle line. Lower torso is off the pelvic girdle. This is close quarters, hand-to-hand -hand combat, but really with your weapon teaches you how to take him down, get him out of the way. It's not enough to put a guy down. It's not enough to move a guy. You have to move him where you want him. I mean, it's a little thing, but toe, heel, heel a little better, because now I, I feel like I get more leverage in it. Fine. What you're not doing yes. is adjusting once you make that move. Right, right? exactly. Just do it. Just oh, go. No, man, you're right, there. Right. I guess I'm usually on the other side of this where guys are, you know, coming to hit me or try to hip toss me or whatever. I don't get to hip toss many people, so it makes this kind of fun. Nice. I don't like this shit. Scott! Sniper! This right here is the doorway. This is known as the fatal funnel, and literally all it takes is a two-year-old with an AK-47 could take down a whole team. Therefore, when you come into a room, you need to clear this fatal funnel as quick as possible. If not, you're gonna get shot. The first guy is going left, the second guy is going right, but if all outs fails, always go opposite of the guy before you. There's no way to put a human being through the threshold and see 180 degrees at one time. One person can't do that. Nowhere in the process is teamwork more apparent. The technique I'm gonna show you is called a carry-off. The reason we do a carry-off is because probably if you do this, he's gonna be a lump of shit right here and now you gotta carry him. As I approach, I'm going to leap. The reason I'm doing that is I want to shock his body. And that's what I'm going to come up. And with the leap, I threw my knees in the small of his back. I threw it out so he came down easy for me. And then there's the placement. Boom, it's going right in. Defensive end position, everything is about clearing a hip, clearing a hand, triangulating somebody. I'm guiding everything. And then I'm just steering him over, keeping him quiet. It really resonates in how to break a person's body down to, to, to manipulate them to go where you want them to go. You never strike once, except for this. I clear them out, this is gonna be, and be done with it. All that tactical stuff is awesome, but uh, I just wanna blow some stuff up. <laughs>